My hair is atrocious. Oh, I don't care, it's too much effort. So I recently got a comment say asking me on my main channel, where are you now, brother? And I was like, I had a hard time. Um, look, I was like, I could, I could have just, I just said the truth, all right? Because I believe that. What the fuck? Nah, it's not bad. I just said the truth because I believe wholeheartedly in the truth, and I believe wholeheartedly in being honest and being an honest person. I think lying is a waste of time and also difficult to manage because if you, for example, if you say if you lie, now you're gonna keep up that fucking lie. <laughs> if you if you lie, now you're gonna keep up that lie. You can't really. Um, keep up that lie forever, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna get caught out, you're gonna be baited out, because the truth eventually un unveils itself. <sighs> Milk. When's it expire? 2nd of March? Oh, this is fine then. We're gonna drink it all today. If you lie, one is a waste of time, two, you're pretty, just, you're pretty much just condemning yourself. To like a f get bait out in the future because at some point your, your lie will just um, thing resurface somehow and people are like, oh yeah what about that and then you'll be like oh that, 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 that. And it'll just be embarrassing and you'll gain a reputation of a liar which is not positive in any aspect and being truthful is easy as well like you get the reaction out if people if you're just truthful about everything and then you're then you're like um you said you say the bad news with good news people are more likely to believe you with good news unless you just constantly speak good news because it's just it's one of those weird things because it's just saying good news like people think this of how, how this is not possible and you have no tangible proof <laughs> anyways what was the topic what the fuck is this video about where are you now brother and i wanted to answer <laughs> the desert scarf video <laughs> Hey, it's my un it's my unfiltered channel, man. It's my unfiltered channel. There's no editing. There's no editing. Nothing like that. This entire thing will be cut out. There's no editing, unless I uh, just want basic cropping. I have one video that's 15 minutes and 51 seconds long, and YouTube rejected it because my channel isn't verified yet, and I have to make it so that it's 15 minutes on the dot. So I have to delete like 51 seconds of content. Oh, it's a pain in the ass. I'm pretty sure the entire video was good as well. Anyways. Where are you now? Well, I start my business, and I, I'm working on the business for the moment. It's stressful. It's always, always stressful. I don't know where I'm going in life. I want to start. This, I want to actually get this YouTube channel going. I want to get this YouTube channel. Going. A lot. YouTube usually takes a lot of time and effort, energy, and as an entrepreneur, you don't want really to get paid a lot in the beginning. But after it snowballs, it sky, skyrockets, then your efforts compound, right? So you can make a bunch of money that way. What was it again? More importantly. Where am I now? I made a few thousand business. Just not the best place. My opinion, not the best place. <laughs> not the best place. See you guys in six months. <laughs> no, I can't do that. My plan for the future is to focus on coding, focus on getting a job, getting a job as well. Maybe just working part time or something like that. Not nothing too serious. Uh, and then working part time on the weekends, working on a few days in the, in the week, like Monday, Tuesday. I can just break it up and then Thursday, Friday. Or well, I could be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, work, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, don't work, right? And then you spend that time working on the business, working on other shit that you need to work on. Classic nine to five grind. This fucking shit. And you just focus on that shit instead. Make a bunch of money. Can't wait to go boxing today. I want to go on a run now. Um, I'm probably going to do a little light workout. Or light, because I have boxing anyway. I want to do a shift. Like a hard, intensely hard working, hard work workout. Intensely hard work out there. <sighs> That's going to be fun. Where am I now? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. To me, like, money is just a number, you know? Money is just freedom points. Money buys you freedom. Money gets you the lifestyle that you want to get, right? That's the extent of money. Money buys peace of mind to some extent, right? Unless you're still working. 
and you're stressing on the business. But for the most part, money is freedom points, and you use you exchange money for freedom. Money is one of those things where if you have enough of it, you can tell everyone to just leave you alone <laughs> because you already have money. There's no need to work a job. There's no need to fit conventional ideals because you have money, right? It's weird. Money is one of those things where people hyper obsess over it. Where I think, where instead, where people should hyper obsess over giving value instead of money, providing value. Like with my business, I keep going. I need to sh shut the fuck up on my business. I need to shut. <laughs> But uh, with my business, um, I'm not focusing too much on money. I'm focused on like helping people instead, which is much more important in my eyes. Much more important in my eyes. Ten times, like it's just yeah, guys. Don't fall in love with money. Fall in love with for, um, providing value and solving problems. Everyone just in the world tried to solve problems. Will be a much better place, and everyone will be a lot more richer. I mean, I think that's a message I can proudly preach. Where am I now? Same exact place. Ha obviously, I hate these thoughts, but they they have they are based on somewhat some semblance of truth. Had I had been grinding, perhaps I'd be somewhere more affluent, better off. Whether that could be school, I don't agree with school, but whether that is a work, a business, that is sooner. This lies, this lies sick. I love these lies, this is sick. I'm procrastinating a lot of this video. I'm not, I apologize for giving you a proper video. I'm gonna stop procrastinating and stop playing with my lighter. I've been in the same exact place for over a year. That's not as true. I made a bit of money here and there. I've got my fitness up. I lost a bunch of weight. That's about it. And it's frustrating and it's sad to, it's sad to know that I've just been in the same place all the time and I just. I feel incomplete within my heart, you know? I feel incomplete in my heart. I... I want to be in a different place. And that's vague to say, but I want to be in Vietnam. That's like, I want to be in Vietnam. That's like my entire goal. Spend time with my family. Like life there looks so much more fun. To be honest, life here is dreary and boring. I, of course, I know English, so there's a benefit, right? I know English, and you know I can blend in. I don't really blend in. I, feel, I don't feel welcome here. I don't have an, even even with the Viet English, the Vietnamese English that were here. I didn't like them at all. I do. I wouldn't resonate with them. I, I I did. I was in common with them, but I was a spurg back then. But me now, I don't relate to them in the slightest. They're playing games, Valorant, doing some like e dating, some bullshit like that. I want money. I want freedom. I want business. I'm focusing on business. I'm focused on money. I'm focused on business. Focus on YouTube. Anyway, we, we're completely separate, different paths. You know what I'm saying? I don't particularly have anyone I relate to, and it's tough. It's tough, guys. Where am I now? I got a little bit more productive, but fuck, who cares? It, it's not. Who cares about a little bit more? You need to be a lot more productive. The fuck? It's it's hard, guys. But I'm not gonna make any excuses. It's my fault. It's completely and utterly my fault. And anyone who watches my video, I want you to understand it's completely and utterly your fault as well. You are where you deserve to be, correct? All of the choices you have made so far have led you to this place. And you are where you deserve to be. And I think that's so and so important to know. Because that teaches so much self-accountability that you can't really you can't really buy. I I sometimes wish I was one of these trust fund kids that had their entire life set up with money and shit because I think I'd still be fine. I think I actually genuinely still be fine. Of course, everyone thinks that way. Everyone thinks that they're the exempt, they're the exemption, right? Until it actually happens to them. But I genuinely think that had I been like a trust fund kid, I would just be having fun, sewing up my money, taking care of my money, taking care of my health, trying to make more money, trying to spend time with my family. I would just have a 
fulfilling, happy existence because I wouldn't have to worry about money anymore. But then there's like a double-edged sword in this thing because like a lot of Jocelyn kids, they become insane because of it because there's no because in life they feel like there's nothing worth chasing, which is a lie, which is a lie. You can't, as much as you try, you can't buy like YouTube followers. You can't buy social, you can, can but you can't buy social media followers. You can't, it's just like, you can do basic marketing and shit, but for the most part, you have to like work relatively hard in order to grow a social media platform or any of these platforms or get your passion project going like a manga or a book. Like a book, you can, you can make it the best book in the world, but it has shitty marketing that no one's going to fucking buy it. So that, that's, a, that's like a, that's a process in there as well. So I think the, those trust fund kids, they're just making fucking excuses and they, they, they just do stupid drugs and shit. Like, what the fuck? that's such a completely foreign lifestyle to me. Fuck, man. <laughs> so where am I now, brother? Where are you now, brother? Not where I want to be. Oh fuck, this guy's banging on the door, what dickhead, man. Weirdo. Not even a year's time. By the end of this year. Not even a, Not even the end of this year, next month. Next month I gotta be somewhere else. Working. I don't wanna be here anymore. It's tough. And just charge it, you know, charge it. I don't know why the other fucking says that shit. Shut up. What's happened to British integrity? There's no such thing. Charge it, bruv. I'm not so staring at the camera, I'm at the video here. It's a tough video, no one's gonna watch this video, but um, this video, this channel is like, like an online channel, right? That I put on public display. My entire self on public display. Hey guys! <laughs> that's so zesty. I want people to know when they see me successful, they see me affluent, they see me living a life of opulence and living, living a life that's worth living. Living a life that's where I'm happy, content, don't have to worry about money type shit. I want people to know that I was in the same degenerate spurred place as you are. And I hope to God I fucking make it out. So it's not a sad story anymore. It's like um, Tristan Tate, he used to get KFC chicken out of KFC buckets. People would leave. It's only, that's only a sad, uh, only a happy story because he made it out. But if he didn't make it out, he'd be, that'd be fucking sad as shit. I don't want no one probably give a fuck, right? So. Yeah, guys, never give up hope. Always blame yourself and never give up. Fight on! <laughs> Sayonara.